When setting up multiple Lithionics batteries on the same CAN bus network, it's important that each battery has unique battery ID and the CAN address uh, called uh, CAN SA or CANSA. Uh, it stands for CAN bus source address. Each battery must have unique addresses in order to successfully communicate on a network. Uh, all batteries are shipped from Lithionics factory with default battery ID equal 1 and default CAN SA equal 70. So for the first battery you don't have to change anything and then for the battery 2 you have to increment those parameters by 1. On the battery 3 increment by 2 and so forth. Uh, here's how it's done using the Bluetooth app. Connect to the battery 2 for example. Once connection is made go to settings and then go to terminal console. Here you will see the live data stream coming from the battery. Use the command line that already has pre-filled uh, dollar sign character and type the command bad ID equal in this case 2 and then hit enter. And you can see in the screen it said OK in the data stream. That means it took the command successfully. So now this battery has battery ID 2. Now let's do can SA equal 71. It said OK. In order to verify that the parameters are set correctly, you can do a command called list which will list all the parameters. Now in order to stop scrolling so you can review everything you go to this uh, the three dot menu and you click disable auto scroll. Now that the auto scroll is disabled you can move the log up and down and you can review the all the parameters here. So you can see here the bad ID equal 2 and uh, can boss address can SA equals 71. So this battery is now all set. And we can just back out, back to the main screen, back out, back to the battery list, and then go to the next battery. So the next battery is going to be battery ID 3 and the can SA equals 72. So here and first of all we can confirm what the current settings are by doing a list and then just stop the scrolling. Here we see default battery ID 1, can I say 70. So we can execute battery ID equal 3 and can SA equal uh, 72. Now we don't see the responses because we disabled scrolling but we can scroll and confirm we had OK here and we had OK here but we can also do another list command now and then go to that portion of the log and confirm they now have battery ID equal 3 and can I say equal 72. So this is now battery number three. So now all three batteries can be connected to the CAN bus and they will have unique uh, addressing so, they, so there's no data conflict on the network.